Hi, this is Mike Barnes and I'm with Lincoln again and uh, what we're going to do is to spend a little bit more time showing uh, Linux running on the Edge book. Uh, Lincoln, uh, what Linux is this? Uh, this is uh, what OS? And it's based on what distribution? Ubuntu 9.04. Okay, and why do we pick uh, what OS? Uh, we decided to pick what, what OS because it's uh, a lightweight distribution and uh, it runs uh, very well on netbooks like this. The resources, resource utilization is very good. Resource requirement for what OS is uh, low compared to running the mainstream uh, Ubuntu distribution. So you're online right now? Yes, yes, we're connected through Wi-Fi Could here. you show us here that we're on Wi-Fi? Okay, this is the Wi-Fi showing all the access points we have available here. This is the physical LAN interface, and now we're connected to wireless. Okay. Yeah, so we're connected to the internet here. Now, I'd like to point out, this is uh, still a pre-production version of the uh, Edge Book. Uh, we're going to have the production version on September the 20th. The production version will have a nicer case and uh, no fan. So uh, anyway, uh, how about uh, uh, what word processing and spreadsheet and such are we using right now? Now we use uh, Abbey Word as our word processor here. This is Abbey Word. Okay, type, let's see how fast this is. Okay, so there's no uh, dra uh, drag or anything like this, No, right? No dragging at all here. It's not sluggish at all. Not sluggish. But you can't type very well. <laughs> this is in the head of work. Okay, so what about spreadsheet? Do we have spreadsheet? Yeah, we do. We have numeric here as a spreadsheet application. We have numeric. Okay. And uh, do we have a, uh, something loaded for presentations? Uh, no, we don't have yet, but here's uh, Synaptics. I was just about installing that. This is Synaptics. Okay, now Synaptics is uh, the program we use to actually download programs. Yes. And too. all of the programs that are available for Ubuntu are available yeah. under uh, Watt OS? Yes. Okay. Everything. You have access to the same repository that you have in the mainstream Ubuntu distribution. So if somebody wanted to load Open Office, there's no problem? No problem. Just click Open Office here and click Install. And now, how much storage does this unit have? This unit is using 8 gig. We have 8 gig SD, but now we we'll yeah, that's the standard. Right. And uh, so this is taking what about three gigabyte, right? Yes, about three gigabytes with all the applications and the we have installed. And the most stripped down version takes. Uh, it takes about two gig, two so, point five gig. So yeah. a four gigabyte storage, you would have uh, plenty of space. Yes. Yes. Now yes. I'd like to point out that uh, the uh, uh, the Edge Book comes with two SD slots, so you can put two. SD modules in. Yeah. Uh, you could actually have 64 gigabyte of storage. Yeah. You could, of course, use a hard drive, but we're going to ship these with 8 gigabyte SD. Okay, so uh, anyway, how do you find responsiveness with uh, Watt OS on the Edge Book? Well, the responsiveness uh, for Watt OS has been very, very good. The performance, actually, overall performance has been impressive compared to other distributions we tested on the Edubook. Now we have tested what other... Edu uh, what other uh yeah, we've done Ubuntu, the mainstream Ubuntu, we've done... Uh, we've tested uh, Debian, Debian Lenny actually. Yes. We've tested Debian Lenny, we've tested Mepis, and we've tested one other distribution. Yeah, we've tested one other distribution, but this has been very good. It's been yes. stable, response has been good. Well, I'm, I'm quite impressed with the performance here and, of course, uh, the uh, uh, applications, uh, which are certainly enough to get a person online, uh, yeah. do email, uh, browse the web, uh, use Skype, uh, yeah. um, and uh, we, we even showed uh, word processing spreadsheet, yeah. and, of course, you could add Empress for doing it, and you had Wine running on this, didn't you? Yes, while we were doing the testing, we Now, had maybe not explain what Wine is. Wine will let you run many Windows applications. And uh, so uh, you could load Wine and use, let's say, for example, PowerPoint Viewer, mm -hmm. and uh, you'd be able to uh, d display yeah. uh, a PowerPoint. PowerPoint. And if you wanted to create power, PowerPoint or other uh, presentations, you could just use the Empress side yeah. of OpenOffice. And you did that as well once. Yes, yes. We had, uh, uh, we had uh, Empress working. Now, what about sound? Uh, sound is good. Sound is very good here. This is, uh, this is Excel. It's actually... Now this will uh, uh, this will play uh, 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 radio stations as well, right? Yes, it will. It will. So now we have it playing. So music. it's sort of like a lightweight banshee. Exactly. Okay. Or maybe compared to like a, a iTunes. Yeah, like yeah, like iTunes, like a reading box, and all of those. So, but this is lightweight. The the idea is to use uh, most applications that are light. 
that are light they don't consume too much resources so, so uh, if people who buy the edge book and, and get uh, watt os pre-installed yeah. get all these applications uh the wi-fi will work out of the box yeah uh, they have uh, sound working out of the box yes and we'll continue to be uh, tweaking and testing right yes okay definitely so to try Lincoln, to i want you to promise everybody that you're going to uh, give them a very good <laughs> linux here okay? uh we will do our best to make sure we get uh, almost all the things that most people will require to work well on the edibook we'll try to make sure all of them now you work. Ha uh, have puppy working on this too right yes we have puppy working we have windows xp working uh -huh. we have a uh, debian learning working now we have added um we've added watt os so we're looking at other distributions how also. about stability you leave this machine on let's say overnight how's it work yes actually i left this on all through the night last night and i woke up this morning and it was still there playing no music freezing, no problem right no problem no freezing so nothing. somebody could put this on as an internet radio station yes low cost. And, yeah and once again this is going to be 199.95 dollars yes that's with 512 megabytes of ram eight yeah. gigabytes of storage yeah. uh linux preloaded for free xp yeah. available yeah so anyway let's uh, say goodbye <laughs> All right, thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Bye. Bye. Siggy, will you?